Robinson, they call me Jay. This is Michael Jeffrey, they call me Mike Jeff. This is Logan Barnes, and they call me Pounds. This is Vince Smith, and they call me Vinny. And, and this, this is The Last Dab. Movie star? Um, he's coming out with a new stand-up, too, uh, <laughs> that Bo Burnham actually helped him direct. He's, like, co-director on okay. that. So, okay. Like, he's getting a bunch of fame because of how good he is. At, like, dude, he's, he he made his stand-up that just came out called Inside on yeah. Netflix completely inside of his own home. Like, <laughs> no person or thing helped him out. It was just him and a camera, a bunch of really lights. And, piano, dude, he's insanely on. talented. Like, I fanboy over the guy. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he said, I'm fanboying. Well, like, just the, at, like, the pure skill and amount of time it really took that man to make that he's a one just man fuck, what's the one one man like what's the phrase and one man jump, one man jump. show one more so one man band one man band, one man band yeah, something okay. like that yeah well, ding, 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 here's the other crazy ding, ding, thing to go uh on that one real quick was just like imagine he's a comedian and he did a whole entire stand-up show with no crowd in front of him nobody's laughing That's, back at him you know how you hard don't have that is? energy you don't have that yeah you, know, yeah. yeah you don't know when the when the punchline dude is supposed the to hit atmosphere yeah. is everything in a comedian in a comedy show so yeah. it's like to not have that and still be able to make a funny content that's worse like than, that's he's fucking talented that's dude. harder than being in front of a crowd that doesn't even like you yeah for sure you know what sure. i mean because at least you can still kind of play with it make yourself laugh but mm -hmm. bro, you know speaking even of know. crowds not liking people we got to bring up lebron james oh, man. walking back to oh, the fucking yeah, game five dude that was game five but yeah. honestly that is what it is because that just showed what and why and i'm not just blaming him but like it, it's not even his fault it's not like he didn't show up bro he's 36 it is oh it's over yeah he didn't it have is Anthony new, Davis didn't have it is a new dawn of basketball and it's it's hard to say because he's been in for 18 years but like bro he's I do not think he will get past first round of playoffs unless he goes to some super team and then it's just like oh man no one even wants it don't end your legacy out wrong yeah I I, I think he, the whole situation of him walking back um or whatever and just like you're even saying him getting a little bit older and the game's changing a little bit it's oh, just yeah. everybody calls him the king and it, dude he's got i get it he's fucking amazing he's the best i know but when it comes to the goat comparison and everything you look at things like this and then you really ask yourself dude that's not someone I would look up to. But Jordan's I would never his, walk out Jordan on my team like that. Jordan has had his questionable moments, you know what I mean? But it hasn't been like that. Like, he hasn't abandoned ship. He hasn't jumped ship completely. Um, and I just think, man, I think it's really getting to LeBron right now, man. I, yeah. I just don't think he knows. He, I don't think he ever even thought he'd get to this point. I saw, dude, this meme. Uh, it was LeBron, like, chilling on a wall or whatever and he was on his phone he was, it was a meme saying uh, LeBron after the game he's texting Bron Bronny or Bronny. whatever, whatever. <laughs> he, he said he said I'm coming back home get an A get an so. A so. <laughs> I'm like yeah. oh my god oh yeah he's trying to smoke up with Bronny but he wants to play with his son do you think Bronny's even gonna play uh, three, for sure four more years he'll probably be in the NBA I think for sure less See, than I think he's a freshman yeah he right? could arguably Sophomore? He could arguably, yeah, leave junior year Hold on, and get drafted. Let me let me bring up a few things real quick. So, uh, you guys will understand it on this point, and some people that are listening may not. But if you're in from Indiana, you'll probably understand this. So, Victor Aladipo, right? Yes. We all understand that for a short period of time, a few years ago, he was getting into music and he was expressing himself into all these other things besides being yeah. the star of his team on a lot basketball. Of people, yeah, a lot of people. So do. now, what we're seeing though is LeBron, he's out making uh, movies, he's doing all these things, and he's always been involved in things, but yeah. you're seeing him he's get older, more and he's spending a lot more, spending a lot more of, of his... Part of the reason he moved to L.A. Yeah, part of the reason why that. he's not locked yeah. in. He's spending True. a lot more of his time not focused on basketball, 100%. and we're seeing it on the court. Yeah, the court cool kids are. Completely. They're the and it was, and look, and yeah, and look it was John same, Rand, Devin yeah. Booker. Oh it was the God. same yeah. thing with fucking Young. Uh, Victor Oladipo. He started yep. doing his music and focusing well, more. Injury and he, prone too. Well, that too. But it, it's kind of the same concept. Uh, I completely agree with that. But, that, you know, somebody who's, who, who's the best, I think, at doing both, Dame. True. Oh, Dame Dollar. Dollar. 
Oh you know what I mean? Puts on his back at times. Right, just fucking put the team on his miss. back and then goes home and drops a fucking <laughs> fire trap. Hey, dude, he's been in the talks a lot recently, too, because uh, he's talking about not that he necessarily wants out of Portland. He need, Bro, he needs that ring. Well, he, he wants the ring so bad that it's it's either it's getting to the point where he's going to have to leave Portland. Or they have to bring. Or they're bringing some help. But here's the yeah. thing. It's already been talked about that Dame, Damian Lillard came out and said, I want Jason Kidd to coach me. He wants yeah. Jason Kidd yeah, to come be that. the coach. But I'm going to let you know right now, Jason Kidd's not helping you win a championship, dude. Well, hold on now. It's not Coaching good. is a huge Dude, part. it's going to help. I get it. But that's not what they need. They need something else to win a championship at Portland. That Jason Kidd is not their ticket to success. I think it could definitely help. I think it could help, but... They can't what, just what's he get gonna a new do? Coach. Yeah, they slap can't slap Dame on the a- ass a little harder because I mean you can only put the fucking team on your back so much. <laughs> right, but that makes it seem like that. Like you said, if he doesn't get other pieces around him, go man. He deserves it. He deserves a fucking ring. He does. So he I, he's not gonna be criticized for leaving. Well, who's the, who's left in the playoffs? Let's just let's get look straight. At that, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go straight to it. The Mavericks lost earlier. Today, Maverick, yeah, Mavericks are out. Ago. So the so. Clippers are advancing. Kawhi Leonard and PG just showed up, man. I hey look. I think Milwaukee, I was going to say Denver. Dylan sent me a Snapchat saying, "Oh, Sixers are out or whatever." And then, no, nope. no, not Milwaukee, not Denver. Sixers. Sorry, uh, tomorrow's Milwaukee, Brooklyn, Denver, Wait, did Phoenix. Sixers, did Sixers get eliminated? Atlanta, Philly. Are there those? Okay. Tuesday, June eighth. They were playing earlier today, I think. Yeah, oh, so okay. the Clippers are playing Utah now. They Atlanta advance. won. Atlanta yeah, won today. Atlanta it was game okay. Sixers, Denver and Phoenix. Game one. Brooklyn, Milwaukee. This is going to be the. This will be the Brooklyn and Milwaukee will be the most interesting series. Yeah. Besides the Mavericks Who, who's and the winning? Clips. Who's winning that? Brooklyn. I mean, I I hate to say it, but yeah, Brooklyn. If and Giannis isn't going to be able Gian- to over, I'm saying if they can force Giannis to take shots. It's done. Hey, you know how much I'd love to see Giannis just destroy all of them, though. Oh, it'd be great. But I, I would just, love it. Just to I see just his fucking see legs just dunking all over him. I want to see it. He could do it, too. Hey, I like Giannis, but I don't think he's going to be able to beat that whole team. That's what I'm saying. He needs to sharpen his So who do we think is going to go to the champ? The the, the I want to say uh, the Nets, and I'll say Phoenix makes a run. I'll say I'll say. Uh, Chris Paul gets to a finals finally. I would love that. Yeah, I would lo- yeah. I'd say Phoenix. Well, what I'd love to see, yeah, is Nets and Suns. But I, what I think would probably happen would be Nets and probably Clippers. Honestly, I just I don't know. Just this year kind of feels like it's Kawhi's time again. You know, He's I'm gonna back. I'm gonna say. Uh, Clipper, I do really like the Clippers this year. Um, if, if uh, let me ask this, I don't know if this is too complicated, but whoever wins out of Milwaukee and Brooklyn, who do they face after that? Is what I want to know. Uh, they would either face the 76ers or Atlanta, right? Yes. Okay, well then, okay, whoever wins that game is gonna go all the way. Brooklyn and Milwaukee. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be Brooklyn probably versus Clippers or like. Fuck the Suns. I don't know. Yeah, because Brooklyn and Milwaukee, they're Eastern. Atlanta, Philly's Eastern. You got yeah. Clippers I'll, I'll and go, Jazz, Western. You got Denver and, and Phoenix, Western. I'll go Clippers and uh, Nets, too. I'll, I'll do the same as you. Isn't that what you no, had? That, that's both. Uh, or wait, yeah, yeah. I said Clippers, Nets. You're right. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Clippers, Nets. Right on. All right. But then again, I'd love to see fucking playoff P, quote unquote, just choke again. <laughs> oh, man. I, I have no respect for Paul George. Every I could see Booker and CP3 just going on. Bro, I could see Booker I mean, dude, he's turning into an MVP. PG, mm-hmm. Pete, Paul George is fucking awesome. He is a good basketball player, but, like, dude, ever since he left Indy, he's lost his shit, man, for the most eh. part. Dude, it's just because he hasn't that been he the was, most dominant was, player. The, his MVP, we talked about this last week, I think. The yeah. MVP defensive player of the yeah, year. Yeah, because he... Uh, well, after he broke he broke his ankle too, in the yeah, that, Olympics. Well, that uh, that leg snap. Yeah, you can ah, it. Yep. I remember watching that. So many legs snaps, off season man. Too. Yeah, like what the fuck? Yeah, I was gonna totally shit on LeBron today, but I'm not gonna do it. 
uh, he's out, so that's right. kind of so interesting. Like, but yeah. let's see. I'm I'm excited this year. We don't have the same teams. You don't have that's the Warriors. This is a change. In it. So let's see what's going to happen. This is this is new. That's why I mean, it's a new dawn. Some of the teams still in this have never won a championship. Right. Never won a championship so let's ever. See what can happen? Are that the NBA is losing money right now with the Knicks being out, the Lakers being oh, out, shit. the Heat being out. Yep. That's crazy. The, the normal cl- the teams. Celtics being out. The normal teams are just not in. That's wild. So what, are thinking, what are you thinking about Julio getting traded to the Ooh. Titans? Well, is it confirmed yet? Because they yeah, said it was it's gonna- a second and a fourth next the year after, second next year, and a fourth the year after. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be and hard to guard. And then the Titans get a six, sixth back. That's going to be hard. It's yeah. going to be real hard. Um. Because now what you're going to do, what what you're going to look at this like is when when before when you faced the Titans, everybody knew you got to focus Henry. You got to mm. fucking get that man on the ground, right? That was their focus. Now when you face the Titans, guess what? Who do you got to focus on? Well, you got one of the fucking best right receivers that's ever played Arguably the game. Arguably unguardable. Yeah. He's and gonna catch. So, so you you draw attention. All right, let's put two people on him. Let's double. That's two less people that have to worry about the fucking monster of a machine you exactly. have behind the line, Derrick Henry. So, could, but play action is gonna shit. be dirty. Play oh. action is gonna be dirty. True. It was already dirty, but now it's gonna be a whole new league, bro. And they have AJ Brown also. Yeah, Come dude, they're now. tight end. Is that who you're talking about? No, he's another wide receiver. Oh, Corey Davis. He was a no second consecutive a thousand. You no, know, he's season. with the Jets now. Corey Davis's. I forget who their tight end See, was. Because uh, he Josh was actually Reynolds pretty good. Came over from the Rams. He's pretty good. He's out of Texas A&M. I had some news with the Vikings, at least, and not that any of you guys would care, but uh, hey, we, we got. We care that you care. Well, at least you guys will know. But uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, one of their not Tyron Matthew, one of their uh, secondaries, like one of their safeties or something, Vince is on. You know? Is on uh, the Vikings now. Patrick Peterson? Traded? No, I don't think we got him because I would have yeah, shit yeah, my Patrick pants. Peterson. Is that who we no. got? No. Who? I thought. Who'd you guys? I thought you guys. I would have shit my fucking pants. If we got him, I'm gonna be excited as hell. I just yeah. know we got someone from their secondary. It's off the Chiefs. Yeah, you have. Yeah, he's number seven now. And he and was he off the Chiefs? He, no, he's with the Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah, we had him. How many years? He, he just kind of came. This is his first year because he can be number seven now because they did the number changes. Oh Fuck, yeah, you dude. can do. Uh, well, the, the thing is that they're talking about is we have one of the best defensive ends in the league, uh, Danielle Hunter or Daniel Hunter or whatever. Uh, but I think he's leaving. Daniel. He's he's leaving. So I think we're trying to soup up our secondary because we're gonna have someone less there. I think. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know we had him, but that's not the guy I'm talking about. Uh, we got someone else from the Chiefs to add to our safeties. It's a safety, I think. Getting that defense. But I'm excited about it, making updates, see what happens. Maybe he sucks and I'm going to hate him. <laughs> you just got to find out. Well, Vince, you already brought up the fact that you got to you gotta build a team to um, – the Titans are probably building a team to compete with the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, it's you what gotta you keep said. up with them. Yeah. Not too, bro. So they're Scoring trying to build, they're trying to build that team. I, I see what they're doing, and then you got the Jags. We can't forget about the Jags doing what they're doing right now. So mm-hmm. we'll see what happens there. Did uh, who saw who saw the new Conjuring? I did. You did or did not? I did. Did I did watch Vince? Uh, I did not because I w- I plan on watching it though. I heard Christian said it was pretty good, but he had some cringy parts, I guess. Yeah, there were some parts that were you know like it was it it, it was a different side. Like it's not like it was not the same Conjuring, but they 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 more were into the occult. It was more about you know like sa- Satanist instead of just like straight demonic possession. So it was a little different. Yeah. Compared to the other movies, for sure, at least when we're just talking about the Conjurings, because I know there's the Nun, La Luriana, exactly. and all the other ones, Annabelle, and whatever. Yeah. But when it comes to the Conjurings, um, with Ed and Lorraine, it was a more story based story based, and I uh, like that movie. Which, but the story, what what kills me when people watch that movie, uh-huh. I don't think they realize how big of a deal that was back in the day. They do kind that of was based tone on, it down yeah, to where it was That was based huge. off a true story back in the day where this guy was the very first human being in U.S. history to claim demonic possession as a reason for, for, murder. Kill, for murder. Yeah. And 
Turned Obviously, out he, he got a manslaughter charge. He did get the manslaughter charge. That's, that's but that was a big deal back in the day because now you look at our court systems and it, it, it it's things like that that evolved uh-huh. the fucking system that we do have nowadays. The way that we do fight cases and yeah. how you can get out of things and get, you know, it's it. the story's crazy. The, I heard but, that they did follow the story basically 100%. I think, like you said, they, yeah. didn't, they didn't really explain how fucking, like crucial yeah. this was but when it comes to facts and details it was like fucking, fucking spot yeah, on yeah it was crazy and um that it didn't have as m- many jump scares but it was exactly. still dude it, it still it had more mo- suspense yeah, yeah it, it still had more suspense oh, like, like the story wise way yeah. more suspense less yeah. jumps and like, honestly it was kind of a it was just like a play with your heart exactly. just like oh my god yeah, yeah. i don't like, know did you like seven Oh, dude, seven. Watch in the box. <laughs> so you did. Dude, yes, I finally watched oh, this nice, nice. fucking movie, man. And um, I mean, Kevin Spacey. Brad, Brad Pitt and might be Brett, like one of the best yes. actors. Like I keep work, forgetting like, how good movie of an from movie actor like he is, bro. Troy, Mr. Yeah. Mrs. Smith. I watched Fight Club again last Fight night. Club. I'm not even kidding. I watched it the other day. I watched it, so it again last night. But uh, dude, I'm seven. Broken heart. He in that one space yeah. movie too, right? That we were talking about, Brad Pitt. Fuck, what is he? Uh, we were just talking oh, about. Oh, uh, the. Not the Martian, because that's. Yeah. The, no, we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Where he's talking to that. He's like a fucking technician for like yes. the motherfucking drones and shit. He's so good in that. And that's one of. He's kind of older in that movie. Yeah. It's one of his newer movies. Mo- more not, recent. Not new, new I get but, what you're saying, yeah. though. Not of his cool oh. classics. Uh. Is it uh? Re- ch- 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 we did, we just talked about re- it too. Re- re- no, I'm just kidding. I don't know, man. It's I'm drawing a blank, but I know Wars what the movie is. is no, that? no. Uh, He's got like a space. Twelve movie. monkeys. <laughs> He's a twelve monkeys. That's no. a that's a good movie. Sorry. Uh, and it, is it that? Is no, it Ad Astra? I don't know if I've seen that cover of it. If that that's is, that's what I'm saying. I've yeah. seen like an orangish looking, almost like the Martian cover. Right. Where's the movies at? What, buddy? Hold on. Let me see the list of movies. Because I just watched it. Usually, when you're on Google, it just takes you straight to the the pages. Just type in Brad Pitt space movie. Space. Yeah. It's probably going to bring up Bad Astra. I'm assuming that's the movie then. It might just be. Yeah, because it's on Prime. It's on Prime. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I just forgot the name of it, bro. I just hadn't seen the cover, I guess. Me either, dude. I just just saw Space, Brad Pitt. I clicked on it. Um, Fuck, what was the other? Oh, I I wanted to bring up, um, not to get off of Brad Pitt, but just I have this in my mind now. Uh, There's a new Hugh Jackman movie uh, called Reminiscence. Have you seen this yet? The uh-huh. trailer? New Hugh Jackman? Uh, look up the trailer for Reminiscence or whatever. Uh, I can't pronounce I can't. Oh, you know, for, yeah, I did see that. Hugh for Jackman. Brad Pitt. So, Rim? Let, <laughs> let me explain real quick for you, like, kind of like what I got out of it was yeah. like. Uh, Wait, you watched it? Or you saw it the almost gives you like an inception vibe, kind of what they do after watching the trailer. But they send you into this this headset thing that sends you into your memory. You can go see any memory any, that you've ever yeah, had. Even if you it's forgot crazy. it. Yeah, and it just watch it. It'll explain everything. It's got it. You get a reply from uh, J Rot J Money. Yeah, I think he's gonna join here in a minute. I send nice. the link. Nice, nice, nice. This looks pretty good, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, excuse me. Kind of iffy on it still. This is for Snyder's. This is a. Uh, and Dude, we got. I went and saw Cruella last night, and that was really good. Emma Stone killed it. I'll go over that real quick because you guys haven't seen it, I know, but definitely recommend it. It was really good. Hell yeah. It's the whole backstory of Cruella, so it's not 101 Dalmatians, people. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Don't get it confused. It's not about dogs. All it's right, about her. <laughs> he says, not about dogs. There are Don't dogs. Don't you understand? But it's not about dogs. So apparently in this world, there's like the water is the flooding levels, everywhere yeah. and everybody's like, well, fuck it. Instead of trying to advance, we're just going to go and crazy. They have this machine where they can just go back into their memories. Oh, yeah. I did see the fucking trailer for this. So it kind of like gives you that inception. Like the future yeah. is like desolate. Because he's like, yeah, 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 I saw the trailer for this. 
He said the water began to rise. There wasn't a reason to look forward to. So people back. began looking back. Pretty, pretty interesting thought. Hold on. <laughs> I just don't like it. This looks good though. He's he's trying to find like this woman. That that's his wife. Oh, from the creator of Westworld. I yeah, forgot because they. Got This guy looks like a badass. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's what so I was going to do. So, fucking remin reminiscence? Reminiscence. Comes that, in August. Okay, that's how you say it. I keep thinking of, like, Evanescence, the song, <laughs> and then, like, Reminence. I can't say I it. You. Like, uh, Let's do That comes out. Um, Far Cry 6, the trailers and oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh, man, I've been getting we, pumped for I that. I think we talked about that yeah, last we week. I know yeah. we did, but like I keep seeing oh, yeah, stuff because it's yeah, getting closer. It's so good. It's yeah, getting closer. I keep seeing more and more stuff. Like They're adding different stuff to it. Like, uh, I've been going through and playing 3. I think I'm going to play New Dawn again before. 5 really good, though, too. So, um, <laughs> speaking of games, like I wanted to bring up the fact... Um, and we can get Jay in whenever we want if he's going to be on. Oh, yeah. No, we were talking about games. Um, I sent the link, so I'm not sure. He'll pop up in that corner, I think. Okay. Well, I, I, I brought it up to you, I know, Vince, but, like, Fortnite. And, yeah, I, we, we talked about it a little bit. But Fortnite is coming out with, like, a new season update. Not that I play Fortnite, but you see it everywhere. If you watch YouTube, you're on TV. Play. You go anywhere, you're going to see stuff. So... They have a new update that says it's all about aliens, it looks like, and like UFOs and everything shown on the screen. And it says they're coming. Right. And quotes, and that, I mean, you know, like it's just for this big game or whatever. But, you know, it, it's just this connection in my brain that I've talked about on the show before of like the government and everybody not being ready for the fact that there is aliens and the fact that they've hid it from us all these years because they're trying to progressively get us used to the that idea and mm -hmm. so that we don't freak out that that maybe one day we might be on the same planet as them or that we might share the same fucking things you know right and it's just weird that you slow i slowly see these small things like the Fortnite thing and um especially now we're seeing more ufo videos released by news medias now because of that bill the covid bill that we've talked about several times but stuff. man i'm just telling you june it's like, 25th the deadline june I believe. 25th well what what it, it's killing me man because like the more i see it feel i'm just i feel like fucking alex uh what's the they're desensitizing us yeah well like it's just like i just i'm going crazy you feeling like alex because Jones it's right like now. i know they're coming one day or something and it's like here's my hold on let me uh, let me do this please <laughs> hold on no 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 listen because like Make why it freaking dogs, dogs, they think why? it's china china drones i don't think it is why are we spending so much money as a fucking Bro. world and society Fight. to put uh radars and satellites <laughs> and everything up in space to try to Maybe communicate with whatever the fuck we may think is out there. It's not no maybe. If, if there's nothing out there, if we thought there was nothing out there, then why the fuck are we spending millions and millions of dollars doing those type no, of things? It's not that we think. And or why don't are think. they hiding it's those things know. from us? We know. It's fucking. In, it, like, they know. And it, it's if power. I talk to one more person, it's like I don't believe in them. Really? You don't believe in them? Go outside at nighttime. Look at the fucking moon and tell me that there's nothing else out there. <laughs> right. Or look, look at the, the fucking look at the stars. Sun. I was like, trying to look at the sun been, and go blind, you bitch. How uh, how vast the you know, how like big light like light years are and stuff like that. How oh dude, that was take to travel the other. That was tasty. That shit's gas money. The chaos Krispies, <laughs> man. Yeah, I, that's what's that's what they're doing. They're desensitizing us, making it to where we're not gonna freak out. So when they do drop the complete bomb, because like you said, they've been dropped. And when you told me that, I was like, bro, they're doing it to kids now. They're making it to where kids, because back then, guess what? Kids were scared of fucking aliens, right? Oh, yeah. We were scared. So, yeah, of that's, yeah. so now it's in our face. Exactly. Now it's in our <laughs> video games. Now we're being cool friends with them. You know, you, the got, world. you got a little mayo, you know, smoking and, and hanging out with bitches and shit. Battle so, Los Angeles. Yeah. Little Battle, mayo, dude. <laughs> shout out little mayo. Signs. He's still doing his thing. Signs. 
But but now those were the scary ones. Mm-hmm. But now it's progressing into more District like nine. more like District nine. empathetic. Like we feel we're for cool. the aliens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Men in black uh, arrival. Exactly. Like I think we're trying like trying to communicate with them and stuff. I've never seen it. That it's but. not like it's a conflict thing. I just like, don't understand. Even like okay, here's a good example to compare it to in the movie. The Conjuring. I'm not ruining the newest anything. That it says the devil made me do it, but yeah. they talk about because, like I said, it was such a big deal back in the day for someone to come out and court a you know a justice system like yeah. court to do that. But it's like the guy said in the movie, he's like, "You guys make you pledge an oath to the Bible every time to say the truth, yeah. nothing but the truth every time you're in court. Why don't they? If they believe so heavily in the Lord and doing that and pledging your oath." Then why can't they accept the fact that maybe the devil is real right. and they can accept demonic and d- evil dark things and right. you know mm-hmm. so it's like the same thing with aliens is like if you believe in religion and gods and all these things how is this not how, conceptually how, the same how can you not believe that I just hate talking to people that don't believe in other extraterrestrial things and I've met people that don't and it's just weird they won't I don't even understand give it a, won't chance. even give it a try yeah, yeah and it's it just, just like me, give me a, give me a fact. That says I have that no it's not proof real. that there is, but it's like I would put everything I fucking love. No, bro, there's no <laughs> proof. There's no proof that there isn't. That's what it is. There's no proof that there isn't anything out there. If there was a live betting game or something like you can bet to some huge bank or rich dude or something that I bet in the next twenty years or bet in the next fifty years there's gonna be alien proof or whatever. Yeah, I would put all life my money for sure. I make on it and I'd be the richest guy ever. But we're gonna find single cell organisms very soon. Probably by the time we get to Mars. You know what I mean? Elon and that team's gonna find that and that's gonna lead into other life. Isn't this shit crazy? UFOs. I was, yeah, I was watching some of it with my cousin just like That was the guy that made the Bob Lazar, mm-hmm. Jeremy Corbell. Jer- yeah, Jeremy Cor- Corbell. When it comes into when it comes to military personnel seeing it, it's like how can you, how can you denounce it? How can you say that it's not something otherworldly? These pe- these fucking trained military personnel are flying their million dollar jets that have radar systems that pick up these objects and then they just disappear and they jam their systems, and we're trying to just blow it off like it could be a a fucking freak incident no bro isn't that crazy that's a that's a triangle bro you know what i mean and it's moving around like try like we don't have anything shaped like that that can maneuver we need to stop thinking about the overall idea of what it is in general and just accept the fact that it is something real that we don't know what it is just don't call it whatever the it. fuck you yeah. want it is just get it in your mind that there it's is something there. else out there <laughs> right stop being right. naive stop i don't know naive. I don't, stop getting to, scared at the get, fact that oh there's something above me it's hard like, to get just, yeah through some to someone that doesn't i don't know they, they, been they think they the understand same but they really don't they've been taught the mm-hmm. same thing over and over and they just don't and that ties into a whole lot of other things politics you know what i mean and, and, and I've been like seeing religion. stuff about uh, the news thinks that it's China or Russia, like drones, but I don't even think that they could even comprehend the technology that would go into no. something like that. Because we, like, like we've talked about before, we we as humans work with the same math, you know mm. what I mean, the same science, you know, propulsion, all that stuff. Like, there's no way that just they're a little advanced than us, and they can create things that. Uh, <laughs> look like ufos to us you know what i mean like if they're getting help from aliens i agree with that you know what i mean Mm -hmm. because it really comes down to which civilization which nation interacts with the aliens first and has them on their side that's that means they're top well it was the it was a battle to get to the or it was a race to get to the moon remember chinese russia and the americans and Uh i think even like germany or what who all these you know for sure people race to get to the moon china plan on going to the moon do they? Are I they know. planning on it? Like I'm mining, sure. I think. I think it's for mining. Dude, that's wild. That's Dude, could you imagine crazy. seeing a moon crater? Like being in a moon crater? How dark and weird and scary Working that would be? on it and shit. <sighs> and forgetting some wild You'd shit, be like, bro. Right, well, I'm going to take off my... Wait. <laughs> no, you can't fucking take that off. Dude. My goodness, that would be 
just oh, they sent a drone already. All the far side of the moon. <laughs> what I'm confused about is uh, we have the Mars rover and stuff, or whatever and stuff. I know it's like electronically. Is it maybe solar? Power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is they it charge solar? itself. Yeah. Because that's what I'm confused about. It's sure. like, man, that thing's been up there for a while. Is that thing like just solar. fucking a genius and knows how to fix itself? Yeah. And like, what? That too. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it man. Tr- it's just, yeah, it's it crazy. It just troubleshoots itself. And I feel like we send other things to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we, we'll send more I shit think we to send it in order pods to repair. There to get, like, that'll send stuff back to us. Right. Even. I don't even know, man. We're going to get a rock one day to explodes in the lab and people have superpowers and <laughs> yeah, shit that's how it all started oh man exploration to Mars. so i i missed last episode you did and why um, did you? unfortunately but i took a little uh vacay Ooh. and i went up to the upper peninsula which uh is well for us is like we live in indiana and michigan's above us and the upper peninsula can be I think all the way over to like New York, even like just that yeah, whole upper yeah. fucking side of the U.S. that is also Canada, so the Upper Peninsula. But we went to Lake Superior, which is um, uh, not Lake Michigan. So oh, fucking, oh, really? uh, I think is Lake Superior the biggest lake in, out of the fa- I five? I believe. I think so. Or is it Ontario? Yeah, I don't think it. Is. I think the fact that it says Superior makes it sound like it is, but it's not. I know there's five Great Lakes. I don't know if it's the largest. Oh, shit. Lake yeah. Sup. Lake yeah. Sup. Sup. Sup, homie. I'm late. But we went up there and... Uh, it is uh, the largest fresh wa- just water burped. lake in the world? <laughs> it is. It is the largest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, buddy, dude. I'm telling you, I believe it because I thought I was on a different planet. Crazy, bro. Hey, look up uh, real quick for me, Vince, because this is what we mainly <laughs> went for. Uh, it's called Pictured Rocks. So we stayed... <laughs> In a town called Munising, Michigan, which has two thousand like two hundred people total in the whole town, right? right? Very, very, very small fucking town. Uh, right off the lake, oh, shit. Superior, Michigan. Um, yeah, and just go to images or whatever, and you'll you'll be able to look. <coughs> just everything you see is exactly what I saw, and it, it, it's the 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 rock formations there are so unique because the the mineral deposits in these rocks have been pouring out of the right. rocks and making these un- very vibrant unique color patterns on all yeah. these rocks and everything and uh we took a three-story boat tour that probably held uh, dude i'm telling you probably like 300 people on this boat damn and we went on a tour through fucking lake superior um i forget how many miles it was but it was like three hours long damn there and back three hours total uh, but it's very beautiful. It was a sunset tour, so it was at nighttime. Um, we probably got back docked at the boat uh, like ten o'clock. But dude, you want to talk about like you know those movie ocean sunsets? Yeah, like they just to die for Picture sunsets. Perfect. Yes, like that's exactly what me and Courtney went and saw on that boat tour. Along with all these rocks, they have Lovers Leap. There's that lighthouse, super famous lighthouse. That's cool. um, there's all kinds of things that they have there. Just fucking it looks uh, bad. absolutely like the coves and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's Lover's Leap right there, what you're looking at. Um, you jump off if you're in love. Yeah, dude, the waterfall's just fucking amazing. But here's another you interesting fact that I found out after I traveled to the Upper Peninsula. But you know, you you have these uh, hills have eyes, and you have the the fucking wrong turns and yeah. all that shit. Well. The Upper Peninsula and Canadian forests and shit up there have some really weird motherfuckers. And there's people that will straight up tell you they're like, don't go to these parts because of the woods because you probably won't come you. out. Yeah, like there's like legit mountain people up in these parts of the fucking places that I went to. That's crazy. Like if, it was, th- th- there's one street. There was one fucking street on this town. Right. If you wanted to go anywhere, it was one street. So... If you wanted, like, if you kept going and you took a wrong turn somewhere and you went off into some trails, dude, it's hard telling what you could get up into. And yeah. I'm telling you, it's true, and you can look it up. And I'm like, well, Courtney, I didn't know that. Oh, when we shit, went. Jared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> be on there. Hey, 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 Jay. Hey, Jay. He was being sneaky. Let me, let me, yeah, let me I was talking about audio. my Michigan trip, man. 
so there was mountain people up in the area that you were in? There Dude, were mountain people. Yes, I didn't know we didn't know this before we uh went, but uh, uh you were being watched. You you can look it up online and stuff. It's it's very notorious for the areas up there, especially higher up into the Canada. Uh, yeah. That there's some like oh, mountain mountain village people and stuff that just aren't not. It's like just if you're not, not from there, you're gonna get. Yeah, it's just not good news, man. <laughs> so did they did like did you have any like encounters with oh, them? Like no, you dude, saw ev- them or no? At, no, nothing like that. With everything oh. that we the town we stayed in, there was only two thousand people, but it was one of the most little cute whatever you know just a cute little town oh, fucking nice, right off the nice, lake nice half majority of the houses you could step out your backyard and you're on the fucking lake you right. got sand in your backyard that's what's up it, it was it was beautiful but we've been uh we, we're just going to talk about nature for the most part sorry and Dude, that's what i've been we, watching a lot of uh what's his name david attenball Oh yeah, David Attenball. David. What, what's the, <laughs> the 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 monkey trainer and stuff? The uh, Jane Goodall or uh, or oh Jane Goodall? Yeah, yeah, the the animal trainer. You know what I'm talking about? The white hair, yeah, the older the, lady. She's old, yeah. like famous on uh, Planet Animal Planet. Okay. And, like a Steve Irwin, damn near. Right. Yeah. But I've I've watched yeah. a lot of her shit on YouTube, dude, and she's cool as hell, man. Sit there, yeah. she'll sit there and talk to monkeys, and I'll just like talk back to her. It's like, yeah, okay. The thing about David Attenborough is that he'll be like, what? Uh, they're like one of the most, uh, or they'll be like a beautiful species, and it, uh, just talking about how amazing it is, and they're like, sadly, this animal is endangered indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will die. It is soon. Actually, I just saw uh, something about rhinos. I think it was in yes, one of the we were just going to talk about that. We were going to bring that Are up, you? dude. What was it, Jared? Um, so what? It, it's that is, it, uh, is it's true, man. It's true. Extinct. That animal is now extinct. Something yeah, done. prehistoric. Bro, listen to this. <laughs> That's going to be in history you books. Look, Vince, you can look it up. They've been around for like i want to say 100 million years plus they're like I know, that's, the dinosaurs, that's real bro. that's real they've been around since that long and they've experienced ice ages and all these environmental changes of oh, the world yeah. they live in a world Climate where there's technology change. and buildings and uh, you know all this stuff and now they're gone bro it's, the, it's, it's fucking done. crazy because of us it's a wild because animal. of humans mm-hmm. I think about like Family Guy, like damn nature, you scary. Damn, yeah, think of how long like thousands of years of like, like uh, shifting of the of like the Earth, yeah, like the continents and shit. Uh-huh. How they yeah. just been rolling you know with them. You know mm-hmm. what the saddest part about like, this one is natural disasters and stuff. How that affects the climate. Like volcanic eruptions can affect can send us into ice ages yeah. for oh yeah hundreds of oh, years. Yeah. And humans can and, and kill all. That's what species. I'm saying. So before. all those things have happened, and the rhino is such a good fucking animal that it survived it It all that shit and what it what like i said the saddest part about it dude is i think when you look up articles of why like what happened it's human hunting it was yeah humans back in the day hunted bro like elephant and rhino tusk like it was i mean ivory yeah it was a gold rush and and that's why half of that's why they're extinct, man. We fucking killed them all. Like, bro, our kids are gonna be like, but what makes talking me about think wanting to see a rhino, but you is can't. is there's I've went to the zoo in the past few years and saw rhinos. Like, there's no more in the zoos, even like there. No, there, well, I think there was a specific zoo. species because they had the white rhino at the Indianapolis. No, zoo I think for they're long, just talking about in wild. wild, like oh, re- in the reproducing wild. naturally in the wild. No more. We just have oh, zoo rhinos. Just zoo rhinos. Zoo they're, rhinos, they're dog. That's wild. I was watching Madagascar right. the other day. Right, right. Yeah, you had to. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's some respect. <laughs> hey, also with the nature thing, man. That's where like, we're going. That's where we're going. What you got? Look, I've been watching the Dangerous Animals, the 72s list. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I've yeah. seen yeah. it before. Yeah. That's a dangerous animal. How are you going to stop that charging you can, at you? A fucking gun? You can actually ask yeah, my you mom. Have to shoot. I was I was really obsessed with rhinos. I, I I remember I had this big folder that I made that was all facts about rhinos that I made for a project. Was it shaped like a rhino? No, it was oh. just normal pages, but it had all these rhino things and everything. I was obsessed with rhinos. 
Rhinos are cool. They're cool. I don't remember fun. any cool facts now, but that's because I. I don't even you think know. you need facts. Look at the motherfucker. Dude. Yeah. yeah, it speaks for itself. <laughs> it's like, what's up? That, that's an animal. It looks right like there, um, Jim Carrey's version, like oh the mechanical God. one. Like, they oh, wait a minute. So Jay like can that. see what we're doing on <laughs> the yeah, screen? Jay's yeah, Jay's Oh, yeah, you weren't in. You weren't here. I wasn't here, man. That's cool as hell. Look at the baby rhino. It don't look like a rhino at all. <laughs> I look like a fucking mule. Dude, that is huge for a baby. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, could you imagine getting fucking rammed by a rhino, oh my dude? God. Like just pure, oh, just head butted. Oh, I thought you meant sexual. No, <laughs> God. Oh I no! You were going I'm sexual. talking just fucking getting ran over by yeah. a fucking rhino. I'm pretty sure. How fast like can they tons. run? Let's look Probably that up. Pretty yeah. fast. This is a nature episode. Look it up. Turn that down maybe a little bit. Then. Yeah. The nature episode. How fast can they run, and then how much do they weigh? I argue that they're about a ton. Some of 2, them probably pounds. can be a ton. Yeah. Yeah. Five thousand pounds. That's two and a half yeah, they, tons. They said, yeah, they they. Uh, Thirty miles an hour. Dude, that's so fast. Dude. <laughs> so fast. Bro, Thirty-one miles. Per Thirty-one mi bro, we're done. We gotta go zigzag. We, we gotta go zigzag. <laughs> zigzag my ass. That bitch is gonna get you, dude. All right, so yeah, I don't know if you can so even zigzag with that thing. That thing type is in thrashing. other ones can run faster. Yeah. yeah. Type in Vince. Oh type in God. rhinos, um, predators. Like what? What in the in nature was actually getting rhinos? Probably not a whole lot. Maybe a lion. Yeah, a lion in a pack if they did it right. They have no real I mean, They have no real predators in the wild other than humans. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> so we literally eliminated we are the predator. People. That is terrible, yeah. man. A, a full grown adult rhino can walk around in the Sahara and be like, What are you looking at, you pussy? And then the, the, and no one can do anything. No I mean, animal maybe can like match it. maybe like eight tigers can fucking take one down or something, but like why would they? But they don't work in yeah, packs. So it's, it's like they don't like, want to do that. It's just not even going to happen. Because guess what? You fuck with one rhino. Guess what? That rhinos, rhinos. rhinos come in packs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. If you fuck with a rhino, guess what? What's I'm sure that another. brand that has the rhino on the fucking logo? You know what I'm talking brand about? Of what There's a brand uh, that has a rhino it on it. I think Dude, a lot of people hate it on it. Jared, where would be the where would be the worst place you would want to be stranded out in nature? Worst and and probably what you think the best would be. Man, <laughs> I forget what it's called. Those rhino shoes are goofy. As I, I want to say I got my answer. You go ahead, Jay. Dude. He said, dude. I don't know. Probably like straight up like Antarctica, man. Tundra. Like, or like, yeah. you know what I mean? That like, nowhere sick. to go, just snow around you. Like, because now you, I mean, you got to make food somehow. You got to get warm somehow. It's so it's much harder. But much what's harder to do? Wet. Yeah. See, I was going to go the complete opposite and say the middle of the fucking the middle desert. Of the de what's harder dude, to do? I, would fucking about the desert I don't know. Too. Would you be, your, your, be hot feet, or cold? your feet would be melted after not even a few minutes the if cool you didn't have the shoes that were is, able to walk through yeah. sand. The cool thing is you can travel at night and sleep during the day. You know what I mean? You want to travel at night so you can follow the stars and it's like 30 degrees. It can get cold as fuck I in the desert. My mind. Where are you going now? I the middle of the ocean, dude. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. The in the middle of the ocean. What would you even do? Dude, a whale just... <laughs> hey, so there was just, a story that someone got swallowed by a whale. Oh, I believe multiple <laughs> people got swallowed by a whale. <laughs> I'm talking about you know a real one. <laughs> fucking pirates just getting ate up by a whale, I guarantee this was, like a, this was like a news story, and the guy came crossing back and was the, like, I was, the ocean. I was swallowed yeah. by a whale. How do, dude, how do you really feel about the fact that there used to be wooden ship Viking motherfuckers that used to cross and sail the right. goddamn ocean? The seas. Like, what? Are you kidding me? You just took a. Oh, let's just grab these 18 barrels of whatever and we get on our way on our sail. <laughs> what the fuck are dude, you talking about? Yeah, look at sailing ship boats from the 1500s. I mean, look at those sails, boys. A galleon. It'd be great Gallion. to have an airbender. Have you ever played the game? Uh, <laughs> you know the, the... Fuck. Shit, what's the game? Oh. The, you, you're like... Assassin's you, you get Man. to... Uh, like... You get to operate your own ship. Season uh, yes, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Thieves. Yes. 
Huh. I've, I've heard of it. It's yeah. like a computer game, isn't it? Well, it's only fun if you have, like, a full, like, friends, it's like, a full teams, squad to play yeah. with. And you guys yeah. literally, you're, you're out, you're, it's just Pirates. like what we're talking about. You're out on the ocean, hey. you have to control your sail. Uh, if, if water comes in, you have to go fix it. You get shot by other people. There's islands. You find treasures and shit. It's really fun. So you said those, look, so those boats, right? I was just watching, uh, like, a like an infographic episode and it was talking about the biggest ships on in, oh, in the world God. right now me and courtney saw a navy one that Bro, was fucking that's what mind i'm blowing yeah there are car there are ships that create ships yeah like the ships dr- fucking drives around and then I, goes build ships i love the, I love the fact too what that the, the, the navy one i saw it was like it's mind blowing. You drive past a, a small little runway, like a runway where planes land, yeah. and you see how big the runways are. And like you, know, I mean, you've been to an airport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Jay? You fucking fly all over, dude. You so know like, the size comparison. Look at a runway, and then put that on the fucking boat, and just fly jets off that motherfucker. And you can do <laughs> film, film. You can drive many, bro. They stack fucking container carriers. To hundreds the f- of oh, feet dude. fucking high, and it's wider than f- it's four hundred feet sink. wide. No. They don't sink. I don't even understand that Interesting. shit. Yeah. Did you guys see I, that video? Wait. What video? Oh, that I sent in the... Yeah. Where they wrecked the... I'll see if I can find oh, it. Oh, I think I did watch it. Where they dropped in all of it. Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. That was shit was fucking crazy. Pew, pew, pew. Exactly. I love Blue Slush down. Hey. hey Blue we got Bud's Lights. I'm about to smack oh, another one can open. You, me one? you want one? Yes, please. Oh, I just broke my neck. I heard that. I thought that was a headphone. It was like, hey, shout out Wood Dog, man. <sighs> he injured his ankle. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, I saw Oh, it. my God. Oh, he injured his ankle. Yeah, bad. What do you it mean? looks what real happened? bad. He said something about a, ve- a ve- vessel. Ve- ve- I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But a it looks vessel? like that bit. It might be a blood vessel. I hope it is. He, because he popped a blood vessel and that's it's all. What he, and it's just, it looks like it. His that's foot not just looks fun, fucking dude. crazy. Look up a how pop blood basketball vessel. or something. How did he. I, that's how what I'm saying. I don't blood. know how he did it. Look, look up what? I was going to say, look up a pop blood vessel if you wanted <laughs> to see it. Yeah. I mean, I'll show you the picture of it uh, on my fucking phone. Or do whatever you I'll were doing, Vince. I didn't know what it let me show you. What do I look up? <laughs> God damn, that's too many. Snacks. I was gonna look up the recent. Uh, do it. Container ship crash. Dude. Yeah, do that. Do that, Vince. I was gonna say he'll just show you the foot real quick. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh what's it at? Ew. Ew. What? That doesn't even look like a foot. That's kind of weird, man. Hey, hold that up to the camera. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> We love you, buddy. No, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's just messed up. It's funny. <laughs> Let me see. All right, uh, hold on. Up a little bit. It? Up a little bit, I think. No, you have to send it to me. What about now? Oh, oh my yeah, God. bro. Oh, yeah, God. that's so gross. It's even grosser when I'm Ooh. looking at it on the screen. Prayers for you, Wood Dog. Prayers, Woody. I said, bro, you gonna go show in the world his foot. <laughs> we love you, Wood. Oh my God. Damn. Uh, he's always water. had to be on like crutches or something, or you I know. know. Vince, he should be all right know. after a while, I think. What? If though? it is that, yeah. You got a little injury prone for a Dude. while too. Yeah, I broke my knee. Fucking. I just had the hip surgery. Got my ass wreck with surgery. my face. <laughs> my I had a mouth surgery too. That was pretty fucked up. It's pretty <laughs> gay, bro. Ass surgery, Dude, I've, only, surgery. I've only had the weirdest of surgeries. The I had surgery, man. That would be that would suck. Yeah, that set me out for like half a year. Oh, Jesus. And when I say I, half a I year, believe- I had to reteach myself how to walk. Bro, that would suck. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. She's like, all right, lift your leg up, and I'm like, eh. you said do what? <laughs> that time was terrible. Oh yeah. I've only had my tonsils and like the tonsils um, suck that too. connector of my tongue to my bottom of my mouth. Yeah, you got that removed. Push back a little bit. Push, push like, back. Push what back. the fuck? Oh, does I, had that my, mean? I had my tonsils. I had uh, <laughs> wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah, wisdom. To- no, I still had my tonsils, but I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and I was. I had a fucking tooth taken out of my oh, nose. Oh yeah, wisdom teeth. Forgot about <laughs> yeah. that. I swear to God, Mike got a tooth taken out of this, his fucking this nose. This tooth right here. My toe was taken out of my ear. Was growing <laughs> sideways in my nose. Like, Ow, dude. Like that, and they they drilled a hole. 
attached a chain and pulled it down slowly over With a year. With a two by four and a fucking pickup truck. And that's why I got a gap the size of a canyon on my mouth. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I can sip beer through it. <laughs> hey, you can hear it. I was going to say, back to the nature thing. Let me hear it. Uh, Let's get it. Another strange animal to me is a hippopotamus. Dude, oh yeah. they're along. Dude, they're, they're along the sassy same. motherfuckers, yeah. man. They're mean. Have you seen a hippopotamus like attack something? Bro, it's a frightening thing. The him and it rhinos are kind of similar. They're they're around the same neighborhood. You know, look what up I mean? a hippopotamus fight, and you'll be like, holy shit, that is insane. They probably weigh a ton too. Oh no, they and weigh. They teeth. weigh. You think they weigh they more? They weigh way more than a rhino. You weigh, think so? Yes, hippopotamus weigh. Let's look up some facts. I feel like they weigh so much more. What do you think, Jay? What do you think weighs more, a hippo or a rhino? Dude, man, they got a lot of flubber. They got some I'm telling flubber. you, I mean, they do got more hippos fat. got to weigh more, man. Hey, that's about no. the same amount, man. I said rhinos can be more, so. Can be up to five. They got more muscle. They got more fat, I feel like. No, those shit. motherfuckers hey, are mean, dog. How long can those fucking tusks Look be? Look at that. Let's they may just be kissing each other out there. I don't they know. They ain't kissing each other, boy. There's some hard action right here. But could you down. imagine getting attacked by one of these things? It would bite your head completely off. Bite your head off? It'd bite your body in body half. Body in half, bro. It's like, come here. Hey, uh, there was a video of someone like feeding them apples or something. Didn't we? Someone send that in the chat too. And I feel like, oh, maybe oh, I just that, saw that it. man. He was yeah. like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. that is a man right there, dude. It seemed oh, like their throat was crushing the apples, and they weren't even using their tusks to eat. It seemed like they like had enough muscles they in just their throat. Yeah, they yeah. got Hey, you could probably look up what their pressure uh, bite oh, strength yeah, is. Oh, yeah, you probably could. I, I think theirs is maybe the... <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm eating apples. Yeah, there it is, dude. <laughs> Ten seconds of just disturb. He's juggling and eating apples. <laughs> Bro, that's a skill. He's he's a hippo, though. Dude, <laughs> all the memes you saw, though, was like, oh, get, get ready, God. ladies. This guy's... Eating your butthole or something. He could throw three bitches around and eat them out Dude. all at the same time. Hippo bite, bite pressure? Bite force, something bite like that, pressure. yeah. There it is, PSI. Let's get it. Hey, remember that one show where it was like animals... 1800 PSI. Damn. Damn. Remember the one show where it was animals fighting each other? What was the Animal Planet show Can't where it was like green and you could see like them stats? That's what I'm, that that's talking, what about. I'm talking about, Dude, bro. Dude, that, that amount of PSI can chop an alligator in half. Is what, what that the said? Fuck, said bro. Clean, clean cut, chop an alligator in half. Most extreme. Oh my god! Was was most yes, extreme. I got yes. it. I got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My dad actually really liked yeah, that show too. Show. Bro, my nana would sit there and watch it. We just sit in the kitchen and just watch it. <laughs> We'd just be amazed, like. And it would be so much. Uh, Joe, Joe Rogan gore. talks about it all the time. All He's the like, time. "How do you not get excited about fucking nature?" Right. It's the it's best. Like, how do you not, dude? My dream, my dream location that okay. I want to go to is, and I've told you guys this before on the podcast, uh, Redwood Forest. Oh, of course, that would be cool. Bro, I haven't to seen see the, trees. the trees. He's seen the trees. Jared, Jared has seen the fucking trees, and they have changed him. Look at him. He's got the fucking tree on him. Yeah, they've changed. He it, has man. seen the trees, and they have told him the knowledge. And I want to I receive want that, that knowledge. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm telling you, those trees. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Ew. Ew. What the fuck is Jared? Look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's Quagmire or something, it's dude. It's Quagmire. I don't know Quagmire. what's going on though. I don't know. Like I don't sonar. Oh. Maybe oh, kind of looks like crimson chin. Yeah, um, crimson chin. Oh my god! Oh, it's a dolphin. <laughs> oh, it's a dolphin. If we were okay. a dolphin. If we were a dolphin, perfect. Oh, right. Hey, South Park, <laughs> where he turns into a dolphin. Hey, fun fact about dolf uh, female dolphins: they make a jelly in their uh, fucking vagina that they if we're rubbed, trip. like well. It's just, yeah, it's like this jelly that makes you come, like, just, infinitely, just, just, and you start <laughs> tripping. Just, yes, you start yes, tripping bro. and everything. So that's why when, that's why they, they're the only, uh, I think, is it, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They're the, mammal. Uh, mammal, yes, they're the only other mammal besides human that have sex for pleasure. Yes. They're the only other mammals, and it's because of the fucking females, just like, I'm, they're like, bro, do you want to get off? <laughs> like, a thousand times in a row? Right. Yeah, that's basically and what that's and like. not be depressed? <laughs> don't they, Wait, uh, mammal? What the fuck? Don't you got they, a, a toast toast? Toast? <laughs> I'm so scared. What the scared. fuck is going on? I'm so scared. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, what you, what, you roll, what you rolling up? Oh, 
I got some butterscotch. Ooh, butterscotch, butterscotch baby. candies, baby. But I've been I've been rolling them in these uh these palms, those king palms yep. that they sell over there at the, the yep. joint over in the, the king palms are cool, man. Hey, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I was one of the first ones that was on them. Yeah, for I was, sure. I was one no, of the first of ones. I'm saying I'll tell anybody who doesn't know if they want like a more organic way or something that's like less harmful. This is just a leaf and talk to them. Doesn't have any glue. It's just Nothing. and it's got a corn husk crutch on it. And you pop yeah. it for flavor if you want. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, you get the flavor of your bud and all that. I'm talking about the flavor of the wrap. They got the flavors in the filters. Have you had those? Oh, the corn husk? What yeah. You Have you had those yet? They Jared, got the flavor. Jared, King let Palms. me see your package. Let me see your package, bro. You can pop oh, it, what? bro. Your, the package for that wrap. Because it, it should have a thing saying to squeeze the filter and it'll... He's got the OG ones. Or does he have the... Yeah, those are just the regular ones. So you, you don't squeeze them. You can get flavored okay, ones. Okay, you can get flavored ones where you squeeze them like a camel crush. Pop. Yeah, exactly. I, I like... I like the natural. I, like I do too, bro. I do too. I was just like, but you know, they have that, some. That is cool, though. Yeah, you can have some. It's like you just took a bite out of an apple, and it's like or a peach. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. <laughs> Sometimes it's like there's too watermelon. Wet. Yeah, the watermelon is strong as wild. fuck. Yes, it's wild. You get it on your lips. Oh, and it's just like watermelon. What did I have? Where did so, uh, Vinny, what? Where would you like to go? I just said my place. Where, what's your dream location? For like a place right anywhere, now. anywhere. I, I I always want to go to Jamaica too. I mean, I have so many, but I just just name one or two or whatever you. Hawaii would be cool. Hawaii yeah. would be awesome. Yes, I went to Hawaii. You know how expensive Hawaii. it is yeah, to live super there. Super expensive. Though? Yeah, they Bro. have to have everything shipped to them. I want to go to ships. I want to go to Tokyo. Tokyo, Tokyo dude. dude. The force in Tokyo. Yeah, Mount Fuji. I want to. I want to oh. go. Yeah, that. the food. Cool. Like it. I've I've heard a lot of people like if. Americans come over there and then they try to get used to the food system over there and stuff and it fucks them up and like the environment and everything over there can like really mess with you. Cause no, really? Really? Just cause yeah, the just like you're not used to it. Like, like it's different food, just, different yeah. environment, different water source and everything. Yeah. We're so used you know, to I'd this. No, I'd have a hard time. I don't really even, I don't like too much even like Chinese food, local Chinese food places that much. Well, I'm People telling you, it's real Chinese food there. <laughs> or oh, Japanese course, or yeah. whatever. That's where it's from. But, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just never. What about you, Logan? Hmm. Where's your dream locations? Jamaica would definitely be one too. That'd be cool. Just Rasta. the culture. There. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd love to go to It's a very, very beautiful island. Or if you don't consider it an island, a country. I mean, it is it's an island. Both. But hmm, let's see. Maybe like. Oh, I've, I've always wanted to go because I knew this kid from, from the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. I've always Where's wanted that? to go there. It's in Africa. I was Cote supposed to go on a cruise that was all these crazy named islands, but I never got to go. The Ivory Coast, Cote, Cote d'Ivoire. That looks fucking beautiful. It's, it's nice, bro. I honestly want to go to Italy, like somewhere like mm. uh, Italian, like European. Cool. Europe, I think, is very unique. Fucking Ireland. Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, What's it called? How do you, say, how do you spell it? What? Ireland no, would be cool. sick. Just spell, yeah, right Ireland there. would be fun, man. That would be beautiful. I think, uh, I mean, the Grand Canyon. Uh, oh, yeah. I went to the Grand Canyon. Fucking. I was so young. I like it You, did, you went? Man, I went. I, it all struck me. I was like eight, probably. And it still was like, I, I we couldn't talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, you just could not talk. But right now, bro, we'd probably like tear up. Oh my it's god! Just, I it. It's just. Too do you much. remember? Do you remember it being hot as a mofo oh, there, <laughs> buddy? I was like, it's not gonna be hot. I was fucking dying, bro. Oh, yeah, dude, dying. Um, you go to the I, what? What is it? Arizona death. Yep. Because de- that's what the part we were in Arizona. There's oh, something. Death Valley. Death Valley. Yeah, I, death go Valley. Here. I didn't go to there. Oh, the Swiss Alps. Oh, yes. like, why didn't I say Switzerland, yeah. bro? It crazy. The Swiss oh my God, that, looks, out. that looks made up, dude. That's, That's what they use. Yeah. Like, live, imagine just living right there. What are you King kidding? King Kong, <laughs> they say, can you come on down to the town? We got some good food. And yeah, we got you. berries and nuts for you. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Literally dude. shit. They just use it for everything. <laughs> Bear poop, up. loose poop. Dude, I would literally <laughs> shit my poems <laughs> if that conversation would happen. Hey, Tobacco. 
Look up to Beck. They got the like real sheer cliffs, right? Morty yeah. said, "I'm not great at to climb something this sheer." <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Niagara Falls? I've been to Niagara Falls too. Fucking insane, you motherfucker! <laughs> it was Bro, that when I was uh, with my dad a lot. Hell yeah, dude! Did I, I took us quite a few awesome. places. What'd you say, Jay? When I went to the Grand Canyon, I think you said yeah, yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah, from the from a helicopter from oh, yeah, yeah. Just bro. That's what bad. The <laughs> On the way back, they let us like drink alcohol on the bus on the way back too, so it was like pretty cool. They're like, oh, okay. yeah, get drunk, buddy. It's the best. <laughs> but it was so hot, and it was. So guess what? You just so saw hot. the most mind blowing thing you'll ever see. Here's some fucking alcohol to wash it down. Right. But dude, I was also like watching over it, and it was like a, I think it was like an hour long or something, <laughs> and I was, it was just kind of like all right there. You know what I mean? Oh, and then I just started getting tired, dude. I was burning up. It was exhausting. I bet it was hot. That's you can see the. Uh, <laughs> Or, uh, what's the dam? What's that called? Hoover Dam. Hoover, Hoover yeah, Dam? Yeah. Have you ever seen a video of them building it? And so it's many so people crazy. have died doing it, bro. You know how many people online truly believe that that is not real? That <laughs> that is something that's made? That's they keep the Transformers, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the people <laughs> think that's a simulation. They'll say that's a simulation. They said that's simulation. not real. There's, <laughs> there's no way we made that. They're like, how do you just stop water? How do you do that? Stop How do you just stop you water? You get Katara and she fucking pushes that shit, boy. I mean, look at it. It makes sense. They don't stop the water completely. That's what people don't understand. Some water's getting out. You know what I mean? That's the the pressure able to subside. Dude, crazy. Bro, look at them. Steelwork and cement. Like, man. I wonder how many people died because I know there's people so who died many, doing bro. it. I know there has to be. So many. That thing is so fucking... How big it is. That would be a wild ride. Dude, the, I know we've talked about the pyramids and stuff, but I like Epcot, it. even Epcot at Disney. Like, dude, when I saw that, I was like, so what? Big. Like, insane. I mean, like, mega structure. dude, Colorado. See even, what the biggest. Just Colorado. Biggest guys, man-made structure. Yeah. Colorado. I'm going to Colorado this year. Damn. I think if you don't really go to Colorado go to before story. you die. No, I I'm that? just saying, dude. <laughs> I'm, gonna be, I'm definitely going to go I'm gonna before be I die. I'm going to be disappointed in oh, all the Khalifa of my Tower. <laughs> Khalifa Tower, yeah. I was going to say, like, you know the, the piers that are, like, um, in Abu Dhabi that's, like, yeah. that overview yep. look of, like, yep, all yep, the yep, yep. famous piers and stuff in the water? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's all man-made. Every single bit of that right there is man-made. That whole entire town... Water system, lake, sand, everything is man-made there. Oh, hey. We're at in Dubai. Ab- 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 yeah. Yeah. We're that talking whole, about like, tall-ass places. Mount Everest. You know what I'm talking about? Water like, system. Jared, would you climb Mount Everest for... Just look at look up that and then like go to images, maybe. Would you climb Mount Everest for $50,000? If you had all the right... How long I got to train? I mean, you get your you get your time. You get your mm. time to train. I you gotta get go the, to the top. You gotta go to the this? summit, my guy, or the peak. My bad. Dude, summit. To that was peak. like one of those like this? types of places that oh, I did not no, want to no, get caught no, up. No, in. So. You need like an <laughs> overview of the whole entire <laughs> pier. Oh, okay. all, all the so. piers. You know what I'm saying? The ones that like branch out. And Logan knows what I'm talking about. It looks like an, there's like eight arms on each looks side. Like, it looks like islands. Yeah, it's like they're like man-made islands, basically. They really are. Maybe it's not even in Abu Dhabi. I don't know. Fuck. It's the Emirate Republic. It's the United Emirate whatever. Are you talking about like it's got like bunkers and stuff? No, it's like man-made island thingy, majiggies. Oh, is that where it's at? I think it might be in the... It's not in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I think it might be in the Arab Emirates. I said Abu Dhabi Dhabi. (laughs) Look up like an overview picture. I thought I did. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, hold on. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up, go up, right there to the left. That one. right, right yep. there. Yeah, uh, that's the United. So the, the Palm Jumeirah. Palm. Ju- this thing, that, what? that whole entire thing, that is a like a state or city, city. or whatever you want to yeah. call it, is all man-made, and it it's like a it makes you feel like you're not even on Earth. It's right. like in a whole new world. Everything's futuristic, Space. damn near. Like, look at this. Look at that. Dude, that's crazy how they just like formed a flower. it out like that. It's like yeah. a Sim City game. Like, you just built that on your iPhone. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, Minecraft bullshit. Like, what the fuck is that? Dude, that's all man-made. Like, machines put the sand and water where it's at. 
Swear to and God. And fucking built up structures onto it. Like, it's yeah. structurally sound. The where, look, I mean, Underneath, look how big enough it yeah. is. It has they said, skyscrapers look, you see, and stuff. You see how it's all one road right there? It is literally like a five to seven lane road just on bang, each all side. branches out and stuff. You can only, it's one way down all the way and one way down I mean, all the like way back. Off of, into the. That, like, yeah, yeah, you can go off, but like. It's one mm-hmm. like pe- you could talk about. I bet there's tunnels. Well, that'd be bad. They say it takes the hours. Water. They say it takes hours to get anywhere on just that one street there. There's so many people because it's yeah, it's just constantly. Mm-hmm. I want to skydive into there, bro. That <laughs> there's, was it, there's a lot of dope. shit, dude. Uh, one of the Fast and Furious movies, I think, was. Didn't, oh yeah, didn't they do something? There? I think oh, so. They had In to Abu Dhabi. Have. They had to have. I'd be surprised. The new if they Fast and Furious. Sk- is about to come out. Yeah, I, think. Yep. I looked at the budget the most for that. Dangerous, the budget for that is two hundred million dollars. Where That's are they the, getting two hundred million dollars for a fucking movie? That's the fucking. Some budget. of it's coming from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From mom and dad, like grandpa, and place in the world. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, places in the planet. Another thing, back to like the nature thing. Um... Oh, I'm not talking about more. violence. <laughs> what are you saying, Jay? Sorry. Uh, uh, I was thinking because there was this movie on Netflix, I believe, and it's called Impossible, and it's about like that tsunami that happened, I think, in '04 in uh, like wild. over like Japan or uh, not Japan. What was it? It's gonna be. Vol- I, I get what you're talking volcanoes about. Volcanoes and uh, Yellowstone. Oh, in Japan, the tsunami in Japan, the I know, Fuku- I Fukushima. Don't know. Yeah, I think so. It happened in 2011. I believe it was, it'll say it on, on that movie if uh, it's called Impossible. But uh, it's got um, Spider-Man Spider-Man in it. Baby it's Spider-Man. It's got Baby Spider-Man in that bitch. Tom Holland. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, he, he's, he's in the movie. And he, and he's good in it. But he's dude, always it's just been a good of, actor. Uh, just thinking about, like, think you're chilling on vacation and shit. And then all of a sudden the island's getting swallowed by waves. You know what I mean? Like, now you got all this shit all up in the water and stuff. What, You're trying to get up out of there. What is the battle, not Battle of Los Angeles, uh, the movie with The Rock that's like, oh, um, I know what you're talking about. Damn it. Fuck. San Andreas. San yeah. Andreas Fault, where the earthquake hey. and all the water and everything. That's wild, it, man. That's inevitable, though. Like, yeah. earthquakes, huge earthquakes on fault lines is going to happen. It's just a matter of when, I guess. And, and I mean, it's happening. Good. It's been happening all throughout time with the continents. You know, exactly. what I mean, continental drift and tectonic plates. Mm, we're in social studies, <laughs> <laughs> science. But uh, wait, hold on. I just smelt that shit, and it just made me forget what I was about to say. Uh, uh, San Andreas fault. Yes, yeah, San Andreas. Like, bro, it's almost better to be in the Midwest when it comes to earthquakes and shit. Yeah, like, we're not near any type of like. Well, there's a huge fault. Obviously, that everybody knows about that can like basically damn near completely disconnect California from the United States and is that become not an the island. San Andreas fault? Yeah, that yeah. is San Andreas. Yeah, 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 but yeah, I don't know why. Everyone yeah. wants that to happen though. There's a lot of people but that are like, there's I a want fault. Them to leave. There's a fault that runs down Indiana and like the Mississippi River and everything like that that can really fuck us yeah. up. Even leads all the way down really? into Louisiana. You remember here, yeah. feeling that in third grade, that or fourth grade? You what? Yeah, 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 it was, yeah uh, I, I remember being on a bunk bed with fucking Cody. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God, you thought it was, you thought it was Cody. It's crazy shit, shit, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, I remember that. Stop it, Cody. I was That's young as shit too, man. Yeah, I was thinking it was like something like a big ass earthworm under <laughs> <laughs> underground. Yeah, I was like, "What was that?" We, we have to earth? take the city and push it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> He said, we're going to take Bikini Bottom, and we're going to move it somewhere else. Patrick's got the answers. Yeah, he's smart. I thought you said Weast. <laughs> Weast. 2012. That's a good one. Yeah. Hey, you right. Yeah, the movie 2012, like uh, Yellowstone. Boom. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Yellowstone, dude. It's inevitable. That scares me, man. It's, it's inevitable. Anywhere. It's going to happen. God, that's scary. Just it's a matter next of 10, when. years. I was 10, looking at... Um, Stuff Hopefully about, like, we got earth. advanced enough to go somewhere else or something, True. or to figure out how to solve it. Maybe we can dump some chemical in it and it'll I think shut I it down. Wanna, I don't want to lie. Let me see if it is ten thousand years. <laughs> what were you saying, Jay? But how do we know it's ten thousand years? We don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was looking at like the Earth before we had a moon, 
and just mm. trying to like look at different uh ways that the earth has evolved and it's just crazy how before it was pretty much like uh oh man it was pretty much just like a gas plant all yeah. magma you know what i yeah, mean there was nothing to create mass you know what i mean it was uh, just a hot ass planet and, you ever watch that uh, video on uh mr Copner's class about yellowstone Oh, for sure. Copner, shout out, Copner. 100,000 years, Dude, he's, sorry. he's a beast. I, yeah. I said 10,000. It's 100,000. 100,000? 100, Within 100,000 years. It's still, in the, it's still in my lifetime. I'm going to live forever. <laughs> well, it's still really crazy to think about, man. I never die young. A lot of people don't even know what Yellowstone is. Don't even know that it's like a thing and that it could happen. The hot springs. And then they learn about it and they're like, now I gotta go see a doctor because I'm always in anxiety about it. <laughs> He's like, I'm scared. No, literally, Mr. Copner was the one that told me about uh, Yellowstone full. I, I, could, I mean, granted, you were a child. And, yeah, and like, I was mind blown, dude. I truly was mind Crazy. blown when he told me. Um, yeah. And there was like a certain point where I actually like started having respect like for my teachers instead of not being focused. I, I was the type mm -hmm. of kid where I was yeah. like focused on not wanting to do my work necessarily right. and not having to deal with the school thing. I wasn't like a perfect student type. But then like, when you see a, a teacher like Mr. Cobner and those Passionate. type of teachers who care yeah, about what they teach like and they want you to learn and they're passing knowledge at that you know what i mean that's that's a badass thing right there, having knowledge you know yes like you have a lot of respect for teachers in that aspect we have to fucking get a hold of mr Copner somehow and <laughs> literally dude you know how many times we've mentioned mr Copner's name on our this podcast is how we do it hey, hey, he would space, probably the, listen to this uh, and be thing, like yeah we need rib dog we need Rip Dog. We I'm, need Rip Dog in, to get us with Kopner. Kopner gonna hook us up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in contact with Mr. Rivers quite a bit. <laughs> Me and Rip Dog. Yeah, Rip Dog. You know, sometimes we talk. Rivers is cool as fuck. That'll get us in. But, then we um, have some. Oh, some what was I gonna in. say? Fuck. Kopner. We could take well, a little I was talking 7 about, break. Yeah, I was talking about Mr. Kopner, but. Uh, what were we talking about before that? Natural disasters, fault lines, Yellowstone. Yeah, it was United Emirates. I don't even fucking know now. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, bro. It's gone. Seven, seven, what if right? an, like a solar flare? Ooh, this is let's, possible. Solar flare knocking out the electrical right. grid. Yes. Yeah. That's great. The like you said, Barnes, it's inevitable. Something. I mean, Something things are going to change. Things well, like what if a, a meteor hits us? Yeah. Oh, and I remember what I was gonna say now. I mean, me, we could talk about meteors hitting us too, but uh, uh, I think it's crazy since we're talking about nature that like we have the continents and you know different uh, you know Antarctica is obviously like freezing and you know deserts and you know all these climates or whatever. But when it comes to animals and you go, it can even be from state to state or a few states over or a whole country over or like whatever. But you have all these animals that. Certain animals can only live in certain climates and right. certain whatever, but it's like you don't see kangaroos hopping around in America. You nope. only see kangaroos in Australia. You don't see fucking panda bears crawling around in fucking Europe because they're in China, you know? So it's like it just blows my mind that we have some of these unique animals um, that just stay, you stay only where see they were. in certain places. And it's just like it's just crazy they to have think that we have these. They yeah. have their own quality. Rhino, rhinos, even. You don't see rhinos fucking running down the freeway. You know what I'm saying, dude? I so mean, they're going like, 30. They could, they could they go down Lebanon could. Street. They definitely could. They definitely could. I mean, well, God damn it! Get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, they, you'd get the fuck out of the way. You'd get the fuck out of the way. Jumanji. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Vince, what were you talking about solar flares, though? You you like, said so... It can knock out, like, an elect the electrical grid. Like, imagine people go having to go without electricity, like... For, like, a week. Right. AC, fridge, water, water, everything. Yeah, TV, Literally fucking, everything. Every anything, yep. Wells, I mean, a lot of people with wells and gas-powered, you know what I mean? Everybody would rush to get a generator, yeah. Yep. And everybody would be sold out. Dude, people are going Even crazy tornadoes, over like, tornadoes gas right fucking now. fucking knock out. Electrical yeah, power. Gas expensive, baby. Yeah, how much is Sorry. gas there? Dude, I saw something. It was like, I felt, what was it, like four? Dude, it was like 460 something. Oh, Lord. Something oh like dude, that, when dude. I was when I was going to Michigan, um, there was a place that had it super cheap. It was like literally 299 
which that's pretty that's cheap now, right now. Two ninety nine. But uh, then the, like there was a place that we went to too that was like three seventy something, and I'm like, oh my god, I spent a lot of money traveling, and it yeah. was only a few states over. It's just like animals. Gas is that's different. Yeah, different, different I drove, places, I drove, I drove through Wisconsin Florida. too. I got to see uh, the fucking my my nemesis being a Vikings fan. I had to drive <laughs> through the, the Cheesehead fucking state, the cool. Bay. I hated it. Oh, he he was pissed off the whole drive. I wanted <laughs> to Courtney fucking like, get out and take a shit right, right, right on a road. fucking Green Bay hat or something. Oh, yeah. Throw it at someone's face. I don't like Green They're Bay. They're pissed off right now. Where Aaron Rodgers is about. Oh, I'm excited yeah. about this season because we don't have to deal with Green Bay being that great right now. Yeah, so George, it's like so what, he's, he's done with them. You said. Oh yeah, uh, he'll, yeah, he'll yeah, be gone so. somewhere else. We got Julio Jones going to fucking um, Titans, dude. Dude, yeah. That's, really? Yeah, yeah dude, traded. So that makes it's things different, now. man. That makes things a lot different. A second and a fourth round. Colts not get good. Not, no, not, no receivers yet. We should have tried tra- harder for Julio. I was going to say, everybody said we, we should have. I got... Like white. I thought you just pulled something completely different out right there. What did you think it was? Well, I saw the um Ooh, crispies? Kale. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I saw I saw the the fucking the pattern on the back. Like let me see what Oh you thought it was acid. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I thought it was acid. Hell yeah. I literally thought you just pulled out a full strip and I was like you're like, uh, is this what okay. the fuck we're doing? We're about now? to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, <laughs> guys, that's going to be like a 10 hour episode. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. I can go to work tomorrow. <laughs> no work. Not today. <laughs> just just up and nose, yeah. man. I go to school. I turn the cameras on. We're all just sitting here. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Don't listen to me, kids. <laughs> I talk, I talked to the guys from the joint a little bit. Yeah, so they yeah. seem pretty excited about coming on. Yeah, we we can uh, definitely mention the fact it, how, we have mentioned the fact that there's yeah. a new little smoke shop here in Lebanon. Um, yeah, I think we talked about that. Very very friendly workers. people, man. CBD, Super very friendly. Yeah. New Delta Delta Eight yep. stuff. All the good. I think it's cool to see that type of thing in Lebanon, especially oh, being, selling the stuff they do. So like they're not getting a bad reputation. No. So it's it's really good to see that, and um, I think they're cool. So I think um, it's gonna have a good impact on. Them. We're gonna have an episode with them. Yep. So I think, oh, yeah. Also with them, it's something that I feel like is right up our alley. Sure. You know what I mean? All that you know, they got some. I've been repping all their stuff, like that hat that I had. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, about to go. Yeah, they got some. They got some cool ass products there, and they got their Snapchat too. We should throw something oh, out yeah. there, but yeah, we'll we'll, think we'll shout them out for sure because it, it's Link's people. We're, we're we're trying to support some other people now that we've realized that um, we have some people listening, and um, it, it, I mean, it, we just don't see the use if we're gonna do a podcast and we're gonna you know sit here and talk to you guys about all these things, um, make our own merch or whatever. Why don't we? Well, talk about other things. I mean, we talk about products and brands mm-hmm. and stuff all the time, so it only makes sense that we branch out and talk to – this is being local, so, like, we're talking to local people doing Get things that we like. And stuff. Yeah. Cups just, and stickers and fucking posters and shit. Oh, yeah. So it'll be really That's cool how you to – spread the word. Word of mouth is the best way to spread stuff. <laughs> Especially around mm-hmm. a small town. Mm-hmm. They're going to have a young demographic because yeah, everyone going out. there smoking. Mm-hmm. Makes you feel good, and, uh, you know. Yeah, I like uh, you had posted something like something about uh, I think or someone something about being like interactive or whoever wants to come on like just let oh, us yeah. know. Yeah, We're I, still about that. Like let's. I made if anybody about multiple that today. people on Zoom. Like even if you want, like we can still have you and bring yeah. someone else on and stuff. Like, you can have like you can yeah. be right next to Jay. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> it can be you and your Jay. Own home. Oh. So we can you hear you all through the same chilling. audio. Outside, get some air. I I um, I, I put a post out telling people that we're on? we're ready f- for any anything that you guys want to do, whether it's a call in or a Zoom call or a guest appearance or whatever. Oh yeah, we got some good good people in the works. Yeah, I got um, some people like at work at, from 
I want to come on and talk about like conspiracies and shit yes. like that. Yeah, so, yes. so we we got so some good people coming, man. We'd have Van Camp. I, saw, like, I saw the Van Camps were on a podcast the other day. I saw were that too. Really? So yeah, I saw be, that. Be cool well, to if they got the on. time, we need to get them on. We got. I don't want to give away all our people yet. I think we should keep it. Yeah, keep it. I was going to say, yeah. I got a few names right now I know when I, I go. I so. mentioned that because I saw them on that one. No, nah, yeah, you just, that's what's up. We can uh, shout out to Caleb right now. He's been coming out with a lot of songs. Yeah. Shout out, Caleb. Three songs. Yeah. We're going to get him on real that's quick. Dude, dude he, he it's just cool for me to see him. Just, it, it, you could tell he's excited about it. Like, he, he, dude, it, he doesn't care whether it's this many plays, that many plays, or whatever, you know, this many shares. He's just happy to see that people Passion. are listening, just like what we're doing here. And that's exactly what we like to support. That's what we want to, yeah, exactly. So it's just, just like, like the movies, problem solving. Yeah, that's some of the songs that he's been coming out with. Lots he's got a lot of stuff that he wants to come out and has plenty of material. So go check him out. Shout out, Caleb. C Shock, baby. So, um, any any fight news lately? Didn't and nothing happened late yeah, we yesterday. Haven't talked right? about Rosenstrike, fights, yeah. Rosenstrike got a knockout. I didn't. Yeah, bring it up. Didn't, I didn't really watch it. I yeah. didn't. It was that last night. Yeah. Oh, hey, it was also, a free. I didn't know they were on. Jared, real quick. There's the uh, Logan Paul and Floyd Money Mayweather <laughs> fight on tonight. tonight. That's right. I didn't know it was fucking tonight, bro. So I have to fuck dude, at school tomorrow. It's at midnight, man. dog. I'm staying up. Yeah. I'm that sound, up. dog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, fuck out of I, can't, I, can't. I don't know if I want to put my money towards that or not. <laughs> Bro, Dude, it, hold on. I will fight hold someone. On. Let's list, l- listen to me. Joe Rogan came out and said this. So I'm quoting him right now, but dude. Logan Paul is like 6'2", 6'3", has like a 50-pound, 40-pound advantage on Floyd. I think it's 155, 185. That's 30. Okay, well... It's still no, I'm not. saying the night of the fight, he's going to weigh more. True. Sure. So he's going to have a knockout. 100%. At so, the end of the first, I think. Floyd, tell, Floyd's hey, going to do the same he thing. He wants to weigh more. He does not want to weigh more with Floyd Mayweather. That's what I'm saying. That's, he's so that dude, cool. Hold on, I think. Hold on 50, you guys. I'm telling 50. you right now. <laughs> he's not something to fucking mess around with. I know we hate him. We hate him with the past. I know we hate him. Who was the dude who beat him? You guys know he's a fucking wrestler, right? Logan Paul is a fucking good I'm not just about to not get I'm not saying he not wrestled bad Paulo Costa. Do you I'm know who that only, is? Yeah. I'm the only yeah. Logan. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else. Jared. KO. Putting Do you know who Paulo Costa is? is? Yeah. He he wrestled Paulo Costa and like kept up with him like it was nothing like dude damn he's, it it didn't say it. but did did paulo costa have wine the Come night on. before <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so rosen strike got a knock out yeah i didn't really show it okay well, oh, i thought wow. you were saying he got knocked out no. like, what, you got knocked okay? out with that like is. seven seconds left in the first that round. looks like um fucking the guy that always uh, burt kreischer the the, <laughs> the guy he fought looked like burt kreischer <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, where's his face at? Look at this dude's face. Little bit like Burt Kreischer. Hey, yeah. Boom, left hook. Boom, left oh, hook. Right oh, oh, oh. Right That's Burt Kreischer right there, dude. <laughs> He's going to knock hey. the fuck out. Um, <laughs> oh, Ocho, Chad Ocho Shut Cinco fights on the card. Oh, yeah, who's he fighting? What? Uh, Are you fucking I'm, kidding I'm, me? I'm not sure Wait, who that what? can't be real. real. No, that's a lie. You're lying. You're lying to He's us. He's doing a foot race with somebody, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking He's boxing. fight, dude. Bro. He's boxing. <laughs> Oh man, if he gets his shit knocked out, that's gonna be bad that's for him, be the man. That's the funniest shit in the fucking. He's world. not a fighter. He might no, get killed, dog. I don't dog. believe that. He is fighting. No. Who's Let he fighting? Who's what he fighting? What is up with this fighting shit right now, man? Is this a thriller fight? It's all thriller. I'm, oh my god, this is gonna be bad. This <laughs> I don't is gonna know be if real it is. bad. I don't know if it is, but what I'm saying is like all these fights are so weird. It's like a doctor having sex with a <laughs> flamingo. <laughs> like, what the no. fuck is going on? Why is it such weird, different people? Michael Phelps steps into the boxing room. Oh, my God. He tries you, it for land. He, he punches yeah. you with his ears. Oh, ow. He's soaking wet. <laughs> Everything slides <laughs> off of him. Yeah, he's on he, the he comes in with Brian the speedo. Maxwell. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. I honestly might Michael have to go Phelps watch it. <laughs> Chad Johnson versus Another Brad Gold Maxwell. Or Brian Maxwell, I mean. Michael Phelps defeats 10-pound trout. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> for the world champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Yo, Vince, I, I like what you've been doing, man. I like I like what you've been doing, man. Right on. Vince is the dog. Top the dog. Look kind of, look, they look cool. I was showing Logan all the different ones we can Bro. do. Yeah. They're so fucking um, cool. We're, we're getting a little bit advanced. We got some other cool things coming on the way. The, the merch is going to be expanding. We just got to get some other things approved. Uh, for some hats and other things, it's just it works a certain way, and that's yeah. what we're we're going through. So we'll get there. Be patient. Uh, check out the sh- the site. How's that slushy? My, my baby spell's not working, man. I'm getting upset. Hey, that's the thing about <laughs> hey, you gotta you gotta stir that shit around, man. It's like a good. I soup. have been, but it's like something in the straw. I think it's a bug. My dad made a good oh, drink wow. earlier, man. It was really good. It's like uh, Jameson and yeah. fucking Squirt. The soda? Yeah, squirt. the soda. I was like, excuse you? Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> the, uh, my mom. No, I'm just oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike's been on a fucking roll. <laughs> oh, I guess, uh... This is a long-ass extendo straw. Look at that goddamn straw, Extendo man. straw, man. That's big. That's Dude, illegal. You get messed up more from drinking from a straw. That's illegal in California, bro. <laughs> That's a three-clip extendo straw. That's fucking illegal. That's a felony. Well, hold on. Don't be going too crazy on that thing. Great. I'm getting a slushy after this. Um, you guys and you guys end up watching The Conjuring, correct? No. Yes, sir. They did. I did not. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I've not seen it yet either. Me and me and Mike talked about it at the beginning. It's worth watching. Oh, okay. It's it's different in the sense of. uh, like Mike said, not as many pop up scares, but the story and the and the suspense is way better, in my opinion. And I think Mike agrees. Okay, so. it's a good change up, I feel like, but it's still scary as shit. It's More worth the watch. Dialogue. See, I was watching Insidious last night, and I was oh, thinking fuck. like, kind of like the one? build up was like slow, but it was first like a creepy really movie. Yeah, like yeah. I remember first watching it, like it was like it was like a creepy ass. Oh, like it was kind of scary. Face that, bro, comes up. that face oh, is scary. Shit. As Hold on, the second one with the crooked man when he's walking down the hall, right? He said, "Bro, I'll fucking knock you out right now." <laughs> <laughs> and he walks out of the fucking toy or whatever it is. I like oh my god! Shit, I literally bro. almost pissed my I pants. I don't like that. Yes, I would yes. fight so hard. Nine. I'd beat the shit out of him. <laughs> he said, bro. "Here comes the crooked." Uh, so. Uppercut. <laughs> Uppercut. Uh, That's what I'm saying. You crooked piece of shit. I would just I shoot think- myself at that point. Oh. I would not live any <laughs> further past that. I would just kill myself. Said, nope. <laughs> not dealing with this. <laughs> What'd you say, Jay? I kind of forget. <laughs> it wasn't I think I fucked everybody up with that fucking pressure. <laughs> I'm scared. Hey, lo- it's Loki, so real. Loki starts Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, I think. Does it really? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! We, I, do, I still I, need to finish um, Cap or Captain pretty good. or Where? Falcon yeah. good. <laughs> or Eagle or <laughs> Swan. He starts spelling it. He said R T or the E or what? He <laughs> Me and Max were watching that OG Ninja Turtles the other day. Oh yeah! So good. Have we mentioned the fact that Seth Rogen's coming out with a uh, new? Well, he will be in like 2022 or something. Yeah. yeah. But and like a hop skip script, away. I'm not gonna be mad. Mm. But what I gotta say is I think T- it's animated. I know, but TMNT, you uh-huh. know, is such a classic, like beloved movie for the like the older ones, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everybody loves them. Yeah. That it's so hard to remake. Yeah. And Seth Rogen is not known for these type of movies. So what is his angle on this? Are there going to be Ninja Turtles smoking pot, eating pizza in the fucking day? I mean, they were doing that in the first place, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be mad if that's the story, but what is the story? Like, what is going to go on? Does it's they, like them starting the new Batman series. Like, yeah, what's kind that gonna, of the same thing. Is it going to be TMT or TMNT fucking COVID and they're got masks and like <laughs> they're fighting fucking the government or something? They're What's going on? That's one of the worst parts about watching TV nowadays. Oh, like it's sitcoms everything. and seeing the masks. And she's like, God damn it, I don't even want to, I want to escape reality for a minute. Every movie though is, is virus related <laughs> yeah. too. 
And it's like, <laughs> fuck, bro. Like, I know it's it, it relates, it's mm-hmm. relevant, but like, man, like you said, it's like, I don't want to think about that. Yeah. Because I just my... forgot, but now I just remembered. It was a fucking two years ago. Like, what? Mm-hmm. It already happened. Yeah. We're just done there's with it, this, kinda. There's this movie that I watched on the plane, and it was Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Was it Funny People with Adam Sandler? No, no, that? no, it wasn't. But it was something about, like, it, it showed his ancestors, and it was, like, they ran, they, he, this guy worked at a pickle. Pickle, like, yep, uh, yep, the pickle movie. And he fell in a vat of pickles or something, and, and he, the preservatives yes. kept him alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was himself. It was, I haven't yeah. seen that. It was, his, seen it was basically it him. It wasn't a great movie. Though, no, I, <laughs> he said it wasn't a great movie. <laughs> I, didn't like it. I was just like, what the hell is this? But did you What's see he's not really working with James Franco anymore? They're okay. they're not really. Yeah, they don't do a lot of stuff anymore. They they so fall. I don't think they're mad at each other. I just don't think they're on the same page on a lot of things right now. Got you. Just well, movie wise. He's, he's going through professionalism. Like, some sort right? of allegations or something. But oh, they're I didn't know that. Not with like under, yeah. Oh. Did you guys ever see the thing Seth Rogen did for like it was like a charity for something his mother had or something like guess some type of disease that his mother had uh uh-huh. and he had all these comedians come out and do a show that was on netflix and all the profit from the show went towards oh, that maybe I, did. I think i heard yeah. about it look, yeah. look up seth rogan charity comp like comedy charity event is that the um, mark twain awards no it's not that hilarity for charity yeah that's right there. Oh, okay hilarity for charity. so this was that's out right. on netflix for a little while and it had a list of all these uh, comedians, if they have it, I don't know. Oh, maybe. But they was just, they'd come out and do like five minute, ten minute skits or whatever. All these yeah. comedians in a row, um, and it was everything they made money wise was for Nick Kroll. John Mulaney, Ike oh, I love Bond, Post Holt, Malone, Craig Post Malone. Robinson. Sarah Silverman, um, Jared, <laughs> did it say what the change was for? Off. This guy's gonna be in the uh, Eternals. I can't. This guy in what? Uh, Eternals. Clown, nine, he's, nine, he's in every fucking movie, bro. Yeah. That he hasn't been Mar- in a, that a Marvel lot. movie in November comes out in November. Craig Robinson. Yeah, Craig. Robinson. That's Jared. David Chang. <laughs> Jared Robinson. Jared David, Robinson. David Chang is really funny. Golden. Just Justin he's uh, Rick and Morty. Rick, yeah. Um, Sacha Baron Cohen. Look, look up uh, the the like what the charity was for, like what disease. See if you can find that real quick. Because I think it was his mom had this, and he was trying to donate it for this big charity that helps us out for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. It was really cool that he did it. So oh, the, Alzheimer's. Those, yeah. Alzheimer's? So yeah, I, I didn't know what it was, but it was for Alzheimer's, and I think his mom had it, and he had to deal with that. Right. And he just always wanted to do something, something for, it. for it, give so back. That, that was pretty cool. I like that about him. Yeah, that's cool. Man. You know, a little bit of giving back. Got to give back. Got to give back. Um, speaking of, I don't know something that you saw like admire admirable about that. Um, I don't know. The other day, I came across the. Uh, like, oh, Max Holloway and Brian Ortega, that, that picture of them, like how they have respect and all that. Yeah, uh, even after, after Max, match, he's like, we should probably yeah. be brothers or probably be friends or whatever. And, and uh, I don't know, I started like watching some of Max Holloway's like videos and stuff. And like, he's uh, like, man, he's a well put together mm-hmm. fighter, man. Yeah. He's, uh, I don't think like he's like the top fighter in the sport, but I think that he puts his all in every fight that he, he does has. for sure. He can box his ass off. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Definitely. <laughs> but Max Holloway's he's a respectable, uh, fighter. I forget. He did some, he knows, uh, I can't remember. I saw something. What? Like some kind who, of chair? Who's your favorite fighters? Uh, or just some admirable fighters, maybe not even your favorite, just some that uh, you think. Robert Whitaker. Oh, Whitaker. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's also a dad. That's what I was going to say. He's a, he's a dad. Oh, I yeah. Showed, Dustin. Showed that, so that. Dustin. Yeah. Dustin. I, I Dustin. 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 Connor. He's like, Connor. 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 <laughs> you got to imagine him, man. Uh, Mystic Knight. <laughs> he's my man. Well, I'm dating him now. Oh, man. Come on, baby. 
Dating. Who knows? Dating Conor McGregor. I'm wiling out today, guys. I was watching the... <laughs> I always come across that video of uh, inter- er, uh, Wanderlei Wanda Silva. <laughs> yes! yes Ch- Ch- Chanel, uh, I can't let you get close. Him and his fucking he's flip that, flops. That I just want to talk to you. Dude, the <laughs> flip talk. Okay, he's where uh, Chanel son is wearing now? flip flops, and then yeah. Wanderlei Silva's what wearing now? fucking like toe shoes. Web toed fucking like water <laughs> shoes. Yeah, why do they give them all sandals? Like they got to kick them off real fast. Yeah. He said, I can't let you get close. He said, I don't like you. I don't want to like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shout out uh, Dylan. He's the one who showed me this. And then uh, GSP, uh, he uh, and Connor. No, it was uh, George St. Pierre. Yeah. And, um, oh my bad. I thought you. I, thought you were I forget the about other guy's name, but I remember that one too. On and Ultimate he, Fighter. Yeah, I think we brought this up before, but it's so funny. <laughs> it's too funny, bro. I can't not laugh at it every time. He's a. He can't. <laughs> I don't know what date. I don't know what date. Right now. What now? Just talking to. That's my brother. That's Devin. Don't. Oh shit! Stopped it. What now? That's a beast of a day. Yeah. Stop it. You. God damn it. I can't let you get close. Oh. Hey, me and Dylan have had uh, the exact Dylan. same oh, scrapple, God. bro. I swear to Dude, God. Bows. We were drunk and we, we were talking shit, and then he swung and I ducked, and then we just went on the ground <laughs> and just scrabbled for a little bit, and then we we're like, all right. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. You have to stop. No. I no. know. No. You have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> His flip flops, dude. Look at, him, look at the flip flops. Uh, look, uh, look at the one now, right there. Yeah, it's off. That was well played by Chael Sonnen. Oh, you know who Chael it. Sonnen? Uh, Jason reminds me of Chael Sonnen, kind of, just in the face. True. Jason. You know what I'm talking about? King Cade. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something you about Jason, him. right? I think so. Yeah, like yeah. I do. Yeah. One more stop, time. Stop! 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know the date. So who's the upcoming tough? I think they're coming. Oh, they're coming Ortega and Volkanovski. Okay. On on the on the <laughs> Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the next uh, fight night for us? A big one. It was big. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna do. I don't think we're gonna do a podcast one. for it, but we're gonna watch but it. But we're all gonna watch okay. it. We're gonna talk about it. Pull up the names. Oh, uh, I know hey. Nate's returning. Unless we do a double double. He said, "Unless we do a yeah, double, double double." I mean, it's up. It's up oh, for shit. talks. It's up for talks. Oh uh, shit! We'll see what we do in the future. Well, yeah, we wouldn't have to do crazy <laughs> editing on the fight night. Maybe we could get like clips. Like a few clips or something. Yeah, we yeah. Could do that. Just for a short of the, like the crazy knockouts and shit. Where are you going? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Where are you now? That's a good idea to pull up uh, that fucking swimming in circles. <laughs> he floats. Floating on clouds. Tiny desk. This pain in my heart now. It really know. come <laughs> true. It really comes out. So I rewatched this match. Your, this the first one. Was it close? Two. I I think it was only close because of the eye poke. He he poked uh, him in the eye on accident. I, but I don't know if they really deducted him for it because it was just a warning. But um, dude, I I think Moreno and Figueredo. That one's gonna Till be a great one. Is that Nate Diaz? Yeah, yeah. buddy. Man Edwards. Yep, Nate's back. Oh, dude, that's gonna be a dog fight, dog. Yeah, this one's. That's gonna a be good one. card, Damian Maya. Ooh wee. Waiting. 
All right, so who's winning? Let's go down. I got Izzy. Izzy. Fucking easy. Figueredo. I'm going to go Moreno. I was going to say, based off the last one, I'm, he has a hard time cutting weight. I'll see. I'll I'm going see. Moreno as well. I'm going Izzy and Moreno as well. <clears throat> Let's go. Nate Diaz is, a, is the underdog. Well, I'm going to go with Nate, but Leon Edwards ain't no joke. Yeah, he probably is going to come away he's, with the win. He's a, he's a, it's going to be a decision. I'm probably. going Nate. 500. I'm so going, you, so you have to Nate. bet $500 to win 100? Yep. Is that right? Yep. Five hundred dollars for what? To win a hundred? Because if it's negative, if it's oh, because he's, he's the favorite. Yeah. If okay. You bet hundred, then you'll win three three fifty five. <laughs> if he wins, this is how it's gonna happen. He's gonna get split open break. right there on that same eye, and it's gonna be a stoppage. <laughs> and maybe he is gonna have to stop because of that eye. It's gonna Think be, so. Gonna All right. I can see that happening. Who's, like, who's next for Izzy, man? What the fuck are we going to do now? After that? Yeah. yeah. Fight Whitaker again, maybe? I don't know. Like, what? Oh. what is there? He's the dog. Is he going to fight a ghost? Like, I don't... Dana's <laughs> going to step in the ring? <laughs> no. Please. Oh, no. Someone needs to fight Dana. No, someone's going to step no. in. John Jones. I forgot. John Jones. Did you guys... Yeah. John Jones. Uh, he's going to fight heavyweight, though. We've talked... Yeah. He's... Yeah. He's bulking. What Big about boy. Darren Till? Oh, Darren I know. Till? That'd be a good fight. Um, That'd be a good fight. Um, yeah, Kevin. Uh, Gastelum? No, uh, what's his name? Kevin Holland? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the talker? <laughs> mm -hmm. I on, think brother. Kevin Holland, they were they have words over Twitter, but it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. No. Kevin but, um, what's his name? Tyrell Woodley is facing. Oh, no, God. Paul. Yes. Paul. <laughs> And also, isn't Tyson fighting soon? Uh, I thought he's, he's going to fight new. Holyfield again, but I, then I never heard anything. Yeah, it's just been kind of discussions I think at the end it. of the month. Do, 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 do. Tyson Fury is going to have to fight uh, Wilder again. Is that number three, right? Yep. Yeah. Because the judge uh, ordered that. They needed another a judge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like an arbitrator, I guess. Yeah, no. because Tyson Fury yeah, like looked a real like judge. he took the padding out of his gloves. Like a real judge. That would have been. You crazy. can see a photo where his his glove is bent and it like folds. It doesn't have any sort of like padding. So yeah. They they claim, but I mean everybody's gonna make an excuse. He got rocked. I know that for damn sure. Right. <laughs> Not fight Fury, but uh, what's he was gonna fight Joshua, and then that picture of Mike Tyson, whoever the fuck that was, is disturbing. <laughs> Dude, I got a, I got a joke or a little story for you guys. My buddy. And I think Jared, Jared, you'll probably like this because it was my dad. Um, <laughs> it may have, this may be like a, a you had to been there story, but it's really not that crazy. So I was outside, we got our pool open in the backyard, mm -hmm. and my dad's got these giant ass uh, seashells that I don't even know, I don't know how he got them, right? So like I've never seen them, they haven't always been there, like I know my house, right? So... I asked my dad, I said, where'd you get these big ass seashells, dad? Seashells. You know, just wondering where he got them because they're fucking huge, like Sheesh. big ones. And he's like, without like a hesitation or thinking or nothing, he, he just answers immediately. He says, oh, I've been getting them. <laughs> and like, I've never had that type of response in my oh, life. <laughs> like, <laughs> when, dude, like, he answered my question, but he did it at the same time. Oh, man. Right. And it's like, it, he ma disregarded it, dude, it. it made so many things pop in my brain. I'm like, am I, I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, okay, has my dad been, like, collecting seashells Collect his whole life? Seashells? And I yeah. don't know. And where? Has he been <laughs> secretly, like, 
going off in the night and getting them from these like people? Like Buying what is going illegally? on? Like I don't know what that answer means. It literally blew my mind. Like the gears in my brain just slowed down, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I've been getting them. Okay, Did what you the fuck them? does that mean, Dad? <laughs> like what does that mean? I thought it was like a simple question. He was gonna be like, "Oh, I found him at this gift shop or something," you know? No, he said, "Oh, I've been getting them." Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, like, I want to use that them. answer for everything in my life. Someone just asked me something them. at work. Oh, I've been getting them. No, no further question. I've been getting them. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, well, hey, where'd you get that? Uh, where'd you get your car at? Oh, I've been, I've been getting them. I've been getting them. <laughs> it works. <laughs> and where'd you get that shirt at? Oh, I've been getting them. <laughs> Fucking my dad, man. He's a wild character. He is Cody. Cody is your oh, dad. Oh, yeah, dude. They're made out of each other. Like, they're <laughs> the same person, dude. They're made out of from the same cloth. My dad just shed like a little skin yeah. off, and my brother Brothers just grew on the ground. Like, that was him. <laughs> I was explaining a story. My dad... Uh, he has these seashells in his backyard that mm-hmm. we never had there. And I was asking him, because they're fucking big, like mm-hmm. giant ones, right? I'm like, Dad, where'd you get these seashells at? You know, like, I haven't seen them before. Mm-hmm. And without, like, a hesitation, no delay, no thinking, nothing, he just answered immediately. And I've never heard this answer in my life. And when it hit my brain, like, the gears in my brain just like, slowed down. Fuck? I was just like, I've never heard this before. So he's like, I was like, where'd you get these at? And he's like, oh, I've been getting them. And I'm just like... You answered my question, but you didn't answer my question, <laughs> yeah. and it just blew my mind. He gave you an answer. And I just, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, that is the most craziest answer to anything I've ever heard. Like, I've never heard that response in my life. Has anybody ever been like, oh, I've been getting them. been getting them. Like, that's the most wild phrase I've ever heard, man. And it's only out of the wise man of Naylor, <laughs> Jeffrey, you know. Those are wise words to end on. Oh, I and wrap been up. getting them. I've been so let's see them. who's going to be getting them. Oh, yeah. That's that. All right, let's get it. That's going to really gonna decide what the night's going to end on. I was very talkative tonight. I missed you guys. Sorry about it. I missed you, Mike. Oh, yeah. I didn't get to go last week with you guys. So. That's what I'm saying. You had me cracking up. Do you like the Zoom setup? Yeah, the Zoom setup's nice. I fucking love that I can see my dude, Jay. Right. It's fucking dope. Really? It's perfect. Hey, Jared, how long were you waiting uh, when you first got on before you I saw you? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, one that was not long. No. Long. no I, I, was, this, I looked up and I was like, wait a minute. It's fucking Jared. It, it was probably like just like a minute. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, you guys were talking and stuff. I wasn't about to, you know, interrupt or nothing. His presence is enough. Hey, hey, we got two greens. It's gonna land on a green oh, no matter what. Shit. It's gonna be it's on a green. green. My, 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 what do you gotta say? Hey, I've been getting. <laughs> You've been getting. <laughs> I've been getting. <laughs> 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 All right, Jay. Good seeing you again, my brother. Peace. Right on. Everybody, later, bro. Be cool. I'll catch you guys later. Yes, sir. Look for the aliens out yeah. in the sky. Aliens are here. They're ready. <laughs>